Hey, what's everybody? Uh, a little bit different video right here. Um, so, I installed this unit new uh, January of 2020. And uh, even though I know better, I have not cleaned these coils since I've had it. Uh, this does have a, a guard. Uh, you can see a lot of trash in there. That's because I just got my weed eater right here. I cleaned up around it and everything. Uh, it's kind of overgrown. So, this is what you're going to have with your lawnmower directing stuff at these things. Especially if the thing happens to be running, it's going to suck all that stuff into that coil. So, what I'm going to do to clean this coil, the best way is to push the debris back out the same way it came in. So, in other words, I want to rinse it from the inside blowing out. So, the first thing I got to do, first, first thing I got to do is turn it off, the disconnect. I, I, I install it so it has a disconnect within, within sight. Um, uh, so... I'm going to take this blower, uh, condenser fan blower, and I'm going to take these six bolts out. And you see this conduit right here, that's the cord coming into it. I should be able to take and lay it right back over on the top. So then I can take and rinse from the inside. Uh, I'm going to take this guard off so I can see what's going on with that coil. If there's any big trash in there, I can get it out. It really shouldn't be big stuff in there, but there's no telling what's in there. Uh, like I said, I've, I've let it go too long. and. Every time I think about it, it's in the heat of the day. So uh, it's a little bit afternoon and it's getting ready to rain. Um, but I've decided I just better go ahead and get this done. So I'm, I'm gonna get y'all set up and uh, I'll probably time warp it uh, through getting all these screws out and stuff. Or maybe I'll just pause it and then we'll start back over. Hang on now. All right, as y'all can see, yeah, it's pretty filthy. Um, now, I, there's not a lot of grass in this area, but, you know, I've, I use a 72-inch finishing mower, and it throws grass quite a way. So, if this thing is running, uh, it could easily suck it up in there. So, what I'm going to want to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it from the inside going out. And then I will, with it wet, I will spray chemical on there. And I, I will show you all the makeup of that chemical. Uh, let me just get this zoomed in for you. Hang on. All right, so the chemical I've got, um, this is called Pro Blue. It's outdoor coal, coal cleaner. Uh, these are typically, uh, typical mixture is three to one for, for the outside coal. And uh, I don't buy the, the individual evaporator cleaner. If I were to clean the evaporator, I just dilute it uh, 10 to 1 and, and set, set it 3 to 1. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with water first. Because this stuff does foam up quite a bit. So, I'm going to want to take and fill uh, one-third of the chemical and two-thirds water. Uh, I don't really need a whole heck of a lot. That's one gallon right there. So, I think I'm going to go somewhere around two-thirds and then I'll, I'll, I'll fill it up to that gallon mark with the, with the uh, chemical. Put the water in there first. It'd be a whole lot easier. There's there's some chemical residue in here from uh, me working on my trucks. Uh, about a gallon. About half a gallon. Let's see. I figure out where the bubbles are and where the water is. All right, so I'm right about here, and just a little bit more. And this ain't, this ain't, don't have to be rocket science. It's, uh, three to one is for your typical normal dirty, dirty coal. So in a restaurant, up on a roof, you've got exhaust fans that pull, uh, you know, put, put out some, some grease in the air, and that gets sucked into the coals. So it's a lot worse on a, on a restaurant roof, which is where you'd be using this at three to one. Uh, this don't need to be that quite as strong, so three to one, four to one, any, anywhere, anywhere there. It, it ain't, it ain't, ain't got to be perfect. I, I don't want to make it too strong. Uh, and on some of these coils, there's like a black coating on there. And this stuff, I'll take that black coating right off, and you'll freak out. But, but it's okay. So let me get y'all moved over here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it with some water. My dogs want to be all up in the way. Uh, 
Now you don't want to blast this thing real hard with the uh, um, with the, the with the jet. Uh, you can bend these fins. You don't want to bend them. So I've got this guy's on shower. Uh, just barely even making it through. I'm gonna have to have a little bit more pressure than that. Uh, let me try to pull. That's what I want. So you can see it coming out. So this, this chemical reacts with water. Uh, so you always wet the coal first, but rinsing it first like this, I'm gonna push out some of that heavy stuff uh, before I even bother with the chemical. My sprayer is stuck on. So I recommend you you build it up from the bottom up. It is a thousand percent humidity out here right now, and then the bugs are all over me sweating and the bugs are getting all in my face. The O-rings and these help up sprayers, every now and then you gotta get the vegetable oil and lube them. I need to do that with this one. Quite a bit of junk in that little groove right there. steam coming off this thing, it, it heats up the reaction, and uh, that ought to be about enough. Alright, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside here. And you can see all that steam coming off of there. See how it goes inside? Yeah, it's lens gets all steamed up probably can't see anything but it it comes right through the other side of that coil so i'm gonna sit a little bit go wash my face 
and then uh, we'll come back and rinse it. So hang on. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start rinsing the uh, the first side I did, and then, then rinse the second, the other side. I want to show y'all so when you go to pull this this fan off you have to be careful with your wires and you don't want to have these wires catch on that sharp edge right there this goes through the hole but when you pull it up out of there the hole is exposed okay but right here is how I got some 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 slack this was up in that hole so I pulled this out gave him enough slack to lay, lay that on the top uh, you don't want to you know yank these wires too hard um, you know, you don't want it to catch on here and and short out so i'm gonna put this thing all back together and i'm gonna um i'm gonna get to end this here um this not only does this uh extend the life of your 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 system here because you're you'd be running high head pressure which is is tough on your compressor but it's also tough on your wallet because you know if you keep these coils clean you're going to save about 10 percent off your electric bill um so I think uh, Southern Rivers Electrical is gonna is gonna know when I turn this thing back on. It's gonna be drawing less. So hate it for them, but it's my money, not theirs. Catch y'all later.